this video, we will continue with compound angle formula. You will find this on page 441 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. And now we're going to focus on sin A minus B, not plus B. Okay, can you remember? It's exactly the same we in the uh, previous one, and I want to take you just there, that in the state of, if there's a negative, there will be a negative. If there's a positive, there was a positive. But the race is exactly the same. Okay. So let's start. Find the exact value of sin pi over 12. Now in this case, remember, I just work with the special angles. So I must think of a subtraction that will give me pi over 12. So if I, so the best is make the denominators to 12. Okay. So the best, if I must think, is if you see a 12 there, then, um, okay, remember you have 3. You have pi over 3. Um, pi over 6, pi over 4. So if you take that to 12, then it will be multiply 4, multiply 4, multiply 2, multiply 2, multiply 3, multiply 3. So basically, you will have 4 pi over 12. You will have 2 pi over 12. And you will have um, 3 pi over 12. So now, now you can look at the combination that will give you 1. So in this case, I see 4 minus 3. Do you see that? Okay. So that combination is going to give me 1. Um, so basically, it, it looks like another option I'm having here. It, it's pi over, um, it's pi over um, 3 minus pi over 4 will also work. So, just like I showed you in the previous, there's more than option, one option. But let's see if this one works. So, pi over 4, pi over 4, exactly. If you say pi over 4 minus this one, 2 pi, 3 pi over four, uh, 12, minus 2 pi over 12, then this one. So, actually, there's more than option. Did you see this? It, you could have worked with this two, which is subtract, or like I did in this example, you could have worked with this two. Okay, this one minus this one. Okay, so let's just work with one. And then I use the formula. So remember, it's sin, the first one, cos, the second one, minus. Cos, the first one, sin, the second one. Okay, and now I just substitute. So what is sin? This is sin. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. What is cos? Cos is, um, but this is now cos of pi over 6. There it is, do you see? So cos... It's, it's square root 3 over 2. And then cos pi over 4, do you see that? Uh, what is that going to be cos? So it's adjacent over hypotenuse, there it is. And sin pi over 6, sin is opposite over hypotenuse. And then I just multiply. The denominators are the same, I subtract, I rationalize the denominator, and this will be my final answer. Okay, we'll give the answer. Do you see what I said? If you, the, the, um, the red ones, if you said pi over 3, do you see, I showed you there. If you said pi over 3 minus pi over 4, it will also give that answer. Exactly. So, just find the combination. Then the next one, without using a calculator, evaluate. Now, in this case, you see, oh, I can see it's the formula, so I must, and it's a subtraction, so what? So, if I take that one and I subtract, just, just the degrees. I subtract, like this. Then I get 1, 3, 5. Okay. So th this is equal to this. So it's almost like the reverse I'm doing. And then this is 1, 3, 5. But then, don't forget your previous chapter 4. That's actually 180 minus 45. Okay. And then in what quadrant? It's in this second quadrant. Do you see? But the, the um, basic angle, okay, the acute angle, will basically be... 45. So this will be equal to sin 45. And what is sin 45? Sin for this is 45. So sin is opposite over hypotenuse. And then I can just rationalize. Okay, so it's almost like I did the reverse. I want you to stop the video and I want you to just do number one. 
as well as number 2i. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Right, let's start. Number 1. Show that, oh, and this is nice, they helped you. Do you see that? Okay, so let's just say, show that sin pi over 12 is equal, and it's actually that one, did you see? So we're going to show that this is equal. Sin, we actually proved this statement, which I um, named it. Pi over 3 minus Pi over 4. Okay, let's start with the rule. For compound angles, sin, subtraction. So this is going to be sin, the first one. Cos, the second one. Minus, cos, the first one. Sin, the second one. Okay. And now, I'm just going to work with my special triangles, just like I did in the previous one. So now I'm going to say sin pi, okay, this is equal. So pi over 3, sin, it's, one, uh, it's um, opposite over hypotenuse, so it's going to be square root 3 over 2, multiply. Cos, remember I'm here, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so multiply 1 over square root 2, minus... Okay, cos uh, pi over 3, so cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, it's a half. Multiply sin, sin is, uh, what is it, um, sin of pi, so sin is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's 1 over square root 2. And then I'm going to just get squ um, squ square root 3 over 2, let me just get my pen correct. 2 square root 2 minus 1 over 2 square root 2. And that is going to be, the denominators are the same, so it's square root 3 minus 1 over 2 square root 2. And remember, rationalizing, we just multiply with the square root. So it's multiply square root 2 over square root 2. And remember, it's almost like there's a bracket and this stands in front. And remember, chapter 1, search, square root 3 times square root um, 2, that will be square root 6. This times this, minus square root 2 over, now remember, this is square root 2 times square root 2 is 2 times 2, and that will be 4. And that is exactly like I showed. Okay, do you see? So that's not so difficult. It's just proving that statement. And then the last one, and I'm just going to make space. Okay. So number 2a, without using a calculator, evaluate. Okay, let's just first write, and this is almost like I said, the reverse. Don't forget, you have to be very good in chapter 4, trigonometry, basic. Okay. And then sin 267. Let's just move it a little bit. Okay, now remember the reverse. If it's a negative, then basically it's just going to be, it's going to be sin. I started with sin here. And then take your calculator and just press. Um, 327, I can, I can actually write it down first. 327 before I take the calculator, minus Two six seven, and if I say, okay, let's just get this calculator started. It's not working. Okay, three two seven minus two six seven, and that's sixty. Oh, so this is nice because it's sixty. So it's in quadrant one. Okay, and in quadrant, and if it's sin sixty, now what is sixty? Can you remember this angle? Don't forget. This is the big one, so this is 60 and it goes with the 3, and this one is 30 and it goes with the 6. So sin of 60 is going to be uh, opposite, so square root 3 over hypotenuse 2, and that is going to be my final answer, and that's how I do.